Hello everybody and welcome to the Education Computer channel. In this video, I will show you how to derive more than one result from a table, depending on some value. This is uh, what is called VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP functions. So let us as example, we have here a grade. I want to calculate a grade for the results here. But here the grades are in the, the following table. We see the result 0, 60, 70, 80, and this is the grade, and this is the grade symbol. And here, and here, as you see, from 0 to less than 60, it will be F or fail. From 60 to less than 70, it will be D, and, and so on. From 90 and above, it will be A. So, how could I derive these? The grades and apply it to my function here. We have the following useful function. This is the VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP. You see this? Uh, let me. So we have the following V. When I just uh, write VL, VL, you will see the following function VLOOKUP. Double click this and then you can uh, click the FX to see the dialog box for it. So we have the following dialog box for VLOOKUP. The first thing is the lookup value. So we want to apply the lookup for what? For the result. So the results here in E3. What the values that we want to derive from? So we have a table of array. Here table of array is represented here. You see the following table of array. I just uh, select this table. That includes all results, all the grades and grade symbols. Okay, and here I have to make it as absolute as this because I want to fix this in my formula. So I click F1. Okay, and then what is the column index that we want to derive and take the output from? So we have uh, the following uh, table. We have the first column. This is the result column. So we want to derive the grade or the grade symbol. If I want to uh, derive the grade, so I will take the second column. So right here, two. And then click OK. You see that the first one is excellent. The second one is pass. So it depends on the second column. If I put here three, so what happens? So it will show the grade symbol here. So it will look like the following. So for the V lookup, V is, stands for vertical lookup. So I have a, here a vertical table. So I derive the results from the vertical table. Here, if I just uh, see the dialog box, we have the, the following text box. First, the lookup value is the results here. And the table of array is the table, V lookup table. And column index, so the column that I want to derive the result from. And here, range lookup. This is uh, true or false. Uh, you can leave it blank or you can write it true. What is the difference between true and false in this uh, options? If you uh, click it true, it will be the same the same thing you applied for. Let us just take this for three also. So if you click true or you click leave it as a blank it will be the same results so i take the range of value from 0 to less than 60 not just 0 and 60 the range of value so this is the range of value while if you put it false here so not applicable why 69 is not applicable because there is no 69 so I said the no range of values. I just take the edges here, 0, 60, 70, 80 only. So uh, 69 is not available here. So it will uh, show the following error. So in the FX here range, I, I think it's better to leave it, leave it like that. So it will show you the results from the VLOOKUP table here. Let us see the sheet two here. You see the result is represented as rows, grade, and grade symbols are uh, the following rows. So here we have function uh, HLOOKUP. Let us write here equal HLOOKUP. You see this? HLOOKUP. Double click this and then go to the FX to see the dialog box. 
and then the same the same way but here out to the uh, to mention the results table of array here will be this table of array and you have to make it as absolute and then the row index here so here the row index result is one row index result grade is two the grade symbol is a three so i will derive as example two and then you click ok so you see the excellent for the first and you can apply the other the same way so this is h lookup is abbreviation of horizontal lookup very nice uh, functions p lookup and h lookup that you can use in your uh, excel sheet hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching and see you next video bye bye